Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss the syllabus and paper style for the anatomy exam in Saurashtra University. So let's begin. There will be two papers in anatomy. In first paper there will be half portion and in next paper there will be another half portion. Let me clear one thing. Each paper will be of 100 marks and the duration will be of 3 hours. In each paper there will be two sections. So each section will be of 50 marks. Pattern that is our paper style will be same for both the section whether it is section 1 or section 2. So now let's discuss the paper style of anatomy exam. As I have told you earlier that whether it is section 1 or 2 the paper style is going to be same. So section 1 will be of 50 marks and section 2 will be of 50 marks. So first of all your question 1 would be multiple choice question which is going to be of 6 marks. There will be 6 question each will carry 1 mark. So it will be of 6 marks. Your question 2 is going to be long essay question in which you have to attempt any one out of 2. So you will attempt one question which will carry 12 marks. Long essay question, one question, 12 marks. Right? Then your question 3 is going to be short note which will carry 24 marks. There are You have to attempt 4 question and each question will carry 6 marks. So your 24 marks. In that there will be option question A and question B. From A you have to attempt any two short notes out of three given to you. So each short note will be of six marks. You will attempt two. So 12 marks in A and 12 marks in B. Then your question 4 is going to be short answer question. That is two three sentence. There will be you have to attempt four question and each will carry two marks. So it is going to be of 8 marks. In that you will get any 4 to attempt out of 5. Done. Now we can see this. MCQ of 6 marks. Then your long essay question of 12 marks. Then short note of 24 marks. And SQ of 8 marks. This 20 and this 30. That is each will be each section will be of 50 marks. There will be two papers, paper 1 and paper 2. In each paper there will be two sections, section 1 and section 2. Each section will be of 50 marks and the paper style will remain same in each section. So in that marks distribution portion, we will write MCQ for a multiple choice question, LQ for long essay question, short note SN and SQ for short answer question. Here you can take the screenshot. So now let's look at the syllabus of anatomy asked in paper 1. The portion which are asked in paper 1 are like this. Head and neck, upper limb, neuroanatomy, histology and general embryology. We are studying embryology as a continuous subject but it will be divided in two portion. General embryology will be asked in paper 1. Whereas, systemic embryology will be asked in paper 2. There is further content what is asked, what is the portion included in general embryology, systemic embryology that we will discuss in another video. So, I have made this chart so that you can understand what is the weightage of each portion. This is the final marks. You can see here, 32 marks are being carried by the head and neck portion. So, can I say that? One third of this 100 marks is 33 marks is going to be from head and neck. Paper 1, one third portion will be head and neck. So, let me explain one row. For example, there will be MCQs, 4 MCQ from the head and neck. One LQ will be there. Now, one thing. In LQ, you are getting option any one out of two. But both the questions will belong to the same portion. For example, there will be two questions from head and neck and you have to choose which question do you want to attempt for the head and neck. Same thing will happen for upper limb. 
there will be two different questions from the upper limb for LQ of 12 marks. You have to choose which question do you want to do for lower upper limb. Right? So for MCQ 1 LQ, two short notes, same thing will be done in short notes. Three short notes will be there from the same portion, head and neck. From that three, you have to choose which two do you want to do. In SQ, there will be four SQ, so that they're out of five. So there will be some mild changes, right? So four MCQ, four marks, one LQ, 12 marks, two short notes, so 12 marks, and two SQ, four marks, 32 marks. So now you can see this one. I am not going to dictate the whole. I'm just telling from upper limb, three MCQ, Neuroanatomy 2 MCQ, Histo 1 MCQ, General Embryology 2 MCQ. LQ will be a head and neck and upper limb in paper 1. Then short notes will be 2 not only not in upper limb but Neuro, Histology and General Embryology. And this is the pattern for SQ. So you can take the screenshot and look at the weightage for each portion which is going to be asked in paper 1. So now let's look at the syllabus of anatomy paper 2. In paper 2, abdomen, lower limb, thorax, systemic embryology, general anatomy and genetics are the portion being asked. Now in paper 2, the portion one third will be of abdomen. 32 marks will be of abdomen portion only. There will be 4 MCQ, 1 LQ, I don't need to tell now. That LQ will have two questions, both will be from abdomen. Three short note that will be from abdomen only. You have to choose which two do you want to do. And to SQ. From lower limb, three MCQ, one LQ. And there will be no short note like upper limb. There will be two SQ. So thorax, two MCQ, systemic embryology. Systemic embryology is a big portion. General embryology will be very small portion with good weightage. And overall embryology will also carry a good weightage. It will carry 16 marks from systemic embryology. Then general anatomy and genetics will have one MCQ, one short note, one SQ. It will be of 15 marks. Your general anatomy and genetics. It will carry 15 marks. So that this one is the syllabus of paper 2. You can have the screenshot if you want. Thank you.